Historical Timeline of Science and Technology in Philippine History. Stone Age Archaeological findings show that modern man from Asian mainland first came overland on across narrow channels to live in Batangas and Palawan about 48,000 BC or before Christ. Subsequently, they formed settlement in Sulu, Davao, Zamboanga, Samar, Negros, Batangas, Laguna, Rizal, Bulacan, and Cagayan. They made simple tools and weapons of stone flakes and later developed method of sewing and polishing stones around 40,000 before Christ. By around 3000 BC, they were producing adzes, ornaments of seashells and pottery. Pottery flourished for the next 2000 years until they imported Chinese porcelain. Soon, they learned to produce copper, bronze, iron, and gold metal tools and ornaments. Iron Age The Iron Age lasted from the 3rd century BC to 11th century AD or after death. During this period, Filipinos were engaged in extraction, smelting, and refining of iron from ores until the importation of cast iron from Sarawak and later from China. They learned to weave cotton, make glass ornaments, and cultivate lowland rice and dike fields of the raised fields utilizing spring water in mountain regions. They also learned to build boats for trading purposes. Chinese chronicles noted refined plank-built warships called Karakoa suit for inter-island trade raids. 10th century AD or after death Filipinos from Butuan were trading with Champa and those from Indoro with China as noted in Chinese records containing several references to the Philippines. These archaeological findings indicated that regular trade relations between the Philippines, China, and Vietnam had been well established from the 10th century to the 15th century AD. The people from Mindoro and Palawan traded beeswax, cotton, pearls, coconut heart mats, torta shell, and medicinal betel nuts, pani cloth for porcelain, leads fish net sinker, colored glass beads, iron pots, iron needles, and tin. Before the Spaniards, Filipinos were already engaged in activities and practices related to science forming primitive of first wave technology. They were curative values of some plant on how to extract medicine from herbs. They had an alphabet, a system of writing, a method of counting and weights and measure. They had no calendar but counted the years by the period of the moon and from one harvest to another. Spanish Regime The later part of the 16th century, there are development of schools like Colegio de San Elder Alfonso in Cebu in 1595, Colegio de San Ignacio in Manila in 1595, Colegio de Nuestra Señora del Rosario in Manila, 1597, and Colegio de San Jose in Manila in 1601. There are also a development of hospitals like San Juan Lazaro Hospital. The oldest in the Far East was founded in 1578. 17th and 18th century, Successive shipwrecks of an attacks of pirates on galleons lead to declining profits from the trade that lead to economic depression in Manila during the later part of the 17th century. The Real Sociedad Económica de los Amigos del País de Filipinas, founded by Governador José Basco y Vargas in 1780, encouraged research in agriculture and industry. The society promoted cultivation of indigo, cotton, cinnamon, and silk industry. 
1789, Manila was opened to Asian shipping, inaugurating an era of increase in export of rice, hemp, tobacco, sugar, and indigo, and imports of manufacturing goods. The 19th century. In 1863, the colonial authorities issued a royal degree to reform the existing educational system. In 1871, the School of Medicine and Pharmacy were opened to UST. After 15 years, it had granted a degree of licenciado in medicina to 62 graduates. The licensiate degree, equivalent to a master degree, was granted bachelor's degree in pharmacy to its first six graduates who included Leon Maria Guerrero, considered was the father of Philippine pharmacy due to his works on medicinal plants of the Philippines. There were no schools for engineering but they offered ethical four-year course for pilot of merchant marine that includes the subjects arithmetic, algebra, geometry, trigonometry, physics, hydrography, meteorology, navigation, and pilotage. Spanish regime. Higher education was generally viewed with suspicion as encouraging rebellion among native Filipinos and those only few daring students were able to undertake higher studies. The expanded world trade and commerce in the later part of 19th century lead to the rapid development of Manila as cosmopolitan center. Modern amenities such as steam tramways, waterworks, newspapers, electric lights, banking system were introduced in 19th century. Jesuits promoted meteorological studies founding Manila Observatory at the Ateneo Municipal de Manila in 1865.